Okay, so the the YCBCR, uh, the ratios. Okay. If you take the original image that came from the computer, it's going to be uh, 4, 4, 4 will be the ratios. Luminance, and then there's two chromiance aspects. The suggestion is that in order to do the fast processing, the processor behind the television will reduce it to 4, 2, 2. Reduce the ratios to 4, 2, 2 from 4, 4, 4. Or, in worst case scenario, all the way down to 4, 2, 0. In other words, they drop one aspect of the chromiums out altogether. Um, I, I don't want to get into all that. What I really want to do here is just use this image and make it such that we get a good image out of it. So I'm going to show you the problem with our torture image. Right now, when, when I blew up the torture image, it needs to be uh, at exactly one-fourth the size of the screen. And as you can tell just by looking at that, my torture image is approximately one-fourth the size of the screen. That means it's at exactly the right size. You have to use the torture image at the right size in order to test your monitor system you know the pixels need to be one to one alright so here we go I'm gonna zoom in and let you see the artifacts uh, the problems with the image that alright here we go alright oh, sorry about the bumbling around here I'm trying to get it just right for you alright here we go look right there on do you see the problems with the pixels you know, the first line is supposed to be only red pixels. Then the yellow beneath should be only yellow pixels. Then only blue pixels beneath. Then only green. And then whatever that other purplish color is down there. They should be one to one. In other words, this the, the text is one pixel wide. The little bars beneath are one pixel wide. They should only be red. Let, look, just look at the red alone. They should be only red. There shouldn't be this, uh, you know, I see a red and then a different shade of reddish brown for the vertical lines there. That's a problem. That is the color space conversion loss. Okay? So I'm going to quickly skip ahead to the answer just so you can see what it was. It turns out that there is a way to bypass the color space conversion or the bypass the processing altogether in this high sense monitor and it is a picture mode. So I can get to it by hitting the settings, selecting picture mode, and if I put it on the game, the game style picture mode, take a look at the difference. Now you can clearly see the difference. That is showing you one to one for the uh, for the text and for the little vertical lines. Just look at the red; they're perfect now. There's no loss. Uh, there's there's no distortion in the color whatsoever. So the moral of the story is this: Yes, you can use a cheap television as a monitor, a cheap 4K television to get a 4K monitor, but you're going to have to be slick, you have to know what you're doing, and you're going to need to find a way to bypass the processing in the back of the TV. Uh, in this case you can clearly see it's picture mode for the Hisense monitor, put it on game, and what will happen is uh, you'll see that the image is bypassing whatever processing, whatever cheap processing is in the back of the, the monitor of the TV. Um, you won't be able to, uh, you won't be able to do all the fun stuff that the TV, you know, the smart TV functions. So you may as well purchase a TV that does not have smart, smart function. Uh, you may as well purchase a television that does not have smart functions because you're not going to use them. You have to bypass them. So now what's happening is the TV through HDMI is sending whatever signal it can through HDMI. It's going straight to the pixels of the television. 
HDMI is a digital representation. It should be lossless, although I've heard that there may be some losses for HDMI. I'm not even sure which standard of HDMI I'm using here, whether it's 1.4 or 2.0, but I am finding that I'm not seeing any significant loss. The torture image is coming in perfectly. I just wanted to show everybody that. Bottom line, you can use a cheap television. You can use a Hisense cheap 4K TV as a monitor and get as good performance out of the monitor as what you would get out of a more expensive one. Uh, so I see no reason to pay the extra dollars. If I want smart TV functions, I will simply use the computer itself to, to do Roku and all those, uh, you know, YouTube, uh, Netflix. I can just play them on the computer, which it has all those functions and then some. So anyway, that's my, that's it for me.